Hey, Bastish B for 64K, and welcome to another episode of Loot and Booty. Hey and welcome back. Today we're going to head out to the pop culture swap meet. This happens a bunch of times each year. I was going to make an event out of this but it's not a big enough an event to uh, justify that so I'm going to add it in here to loot and booty episode so we're going to go check that out. It's uh, collectibles like comic books, uh, toys, video games, a little bit of everything. It's a small little event but it's pretty cool. I've been to a bunch of them before. I decided to show you guys what one of them looks like and I'm on my way there right now. It's still going to be about 20 minutes or so so in the meantime you can check out another thrift I hit up on the weekend. Another awesome summer day in Vancouver, 7am, Cloverdale. And here we are, another cool day in Vancouver. Beautiful. Ooh, one or two dollars for vinyl. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, we've got the Bowie Let's Dance album. Really awesome. Tons of cool tracks. Modern Love, China Girl, Let's Dance. Excellent. And what have we got here? This thing's called a Merlin. I don't know what the heck this was. Looks like some sort of Simon Says retro thing. <laughs> and here's a bunch of really cool comics that these morons have totally destroyed by putting unremovable stickers on them. Well done, so well done. Lots and lots of really good games here. If you have a massive collection like myself, I pretty much got everything. Three for 20 bucks, it's not too bad. There's some really good titles in there. I did manage to find F-15 Strike Eagle for the NES. Billy Joel. Lots of decent albums in here. A little bit steep. Oh, Pointer Sisters. Breakout. Really good album. Got it already though. Some light reading with Dennis the Menace. Next to this brutality of the Rise of Evil Hitler. <laughs> Some more games. Bunch of in television stuff here. Got some Space Hawk. Love that cover. And yeah, it's Mr. Gene Knight. I don't know what's happening with your pants. Sort it out, Gene. I decided to pick up Night Stalker on in television. Bunch of really cool Queen albums here that I've never come across before. Pretty varied selection there. It's more this guy's collection. Everything was fairly decently priced for the most part. Also got the Star Wars box set there on VHS. I found this, I think it's an Apple II controller. I should, probably should have picked that up. And we're going to go into the hall. There was nothing really here today. Except this guy who has a lot of cool stuff. But he's kind of a jerk to deal with. <laughs> and his prices are a bit overboard. So that's me down at Cloverdale. I managed to pick up two games. Night Stalker and F-15 Strike Eagle on the NES. Not bad. And back to the show. Hey, welcome back. I'm just trying to find some parking around here. This place is pretty bad. Let's see about I can find. Okay, I've managed to find a parking spot just around the corner, so let's go check this thing out. Here we are outside the Scottish Cultural Centre in Vancouver, British Columbia. A little bit of a lineup started here. A bit of an overview of the whole hall. It's pretty big. It's got a lot of stuff packed in here. And some cool cards there, Back to the Future and Robocop. Awesome selection of novels for classic Trek stuff. Ren and Stimpy, DuckTales, oh, that was very cool. 
this Ghostbuster set was pretty awesome. Iron Maiden, some Eddie in all his forms. Really cool G.I. Joe and Master of the Universe stuff there. There's a copy of Street Fighter 2 here on the Super NES. Caught my eye. I already have it though. Nice condition. Random selection of vinyl here. I did manage to find this gem. Smokey and the Bandit! Dick Tracy cards. Ooh, Adam's Family Cereal. That's creepy. Never seen that before. Lots of cool figures. Found this bag of Willow action figures. How cool is that? He had a whole bunch of them. Almost all the characters in there. Found the mystery machine. Scooby Doo mystery machine. And we got a Sunny Chiba collection. Love that guy. It's got Dragon Princess, Shogun Ninja, Killing Machine, Samurai Reincarnation, The Bodyguard. Nice selection. Goldar! Guy's so cool. Bunch of games there. I found this movie. A Reason to Live, A Reason to Die. I've never actually seen it before. It's got Bud Spencer. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just taking a break here. Lunchtime, having a coffee. Just sitting across the road from the Scottish Cultural Center. And while I have this, you can go check out another thrift I just went to. Okay, so I'm heading out to the Langley area. I'm gonna hit up three thrift stores in a row, see what I can find. Found the gaming section. A lot of stuff I already have. Some pretty good titles though, mixed in there. Found Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. Been trying to collect all these. Bunch of random junk here. Ooh, nice 360. Nine bucks? Hells yes. System requires repair. Oh, come on. Bunch of board games. I found this piece of creepiness over here. In sync, the board game, or whatever it is. <laughs> uh. Got a Genesis controller here, classic three button version. Pretty cool. Ooh, got Captain America, Super Soldier on the 360. Really great game. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next place Mission Thrift Store. Bunch of vinyl, real trashy selection. Donnie and Marie, ah, jeez. Creepy. Oh, it gets even more creepy. Eevee? What is this thing? Ah! No, nope. that does it for vinyl. Found some games, got Blitzkrieg on PC. It's a cool strategy game. Very cool. Some whole bunch of generic garbage there. Some more extra editions of Blitzkrieg. Ah, Sinus 2. Ugh. Decided to give the vinyl another go. Manolo. Oh my god. Talk about putting you to sleep. Ah, no. Nah. That's done it for that box. Tainted it. Tainted it. Thrift store. Good deals. Great fun. Uh, we'll see about that. Got a VHC camcorder here. Pretty the viewfinder was busted. Love those old things. Looking at these cassettes, I found the best dance cassette I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> Look at the selection of people on this thing. It's just freaking cool. We got Bobby Brown, House of Pain, CNC Music Factory, Technotronic, Snap. That's just side one. What do you got on that side? Tag Team, Two Unlimited, Dr. Alban, Arrested Development. Holy cow. That's what you call dance album. And these old disc boxes. Probably should have got those. I don't know why I didn't get them. Try to get vinyl one more go. Ah! Evie! Come on, ring those bells. No! 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 That's it. Done. Tainted. Okay, I'm just back to the car. Off to checking out the three thrift stores in Langley. And first up, we got MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. Excellent PC mech game. I got Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. 
I just got a whole bunch of other flight simulators from the Microsoft series, so this is another one to add to the collection. I got this game, Blowout. Looks like it's made by Majesco. I remember seeing this back in the day and I didn't give it a give it the time of day to be honest because I thought it was a budget title. It definitely is a budget title, but I'm still willing to give it a shot and see what it looks like. Star Wars Episode 3. Um, I've already got this. This is an excellent game. This is just in such good condition. It's, I'm gonna sell my one. <laughs> Uh, this is made by The Collective, the guys that made Buffy the Vampire Slayer game, which is excellent as well. Got Captain America Super Soldier. I've played this before, it's a fantastic game, it's very underrated. You should definitely check this out. This is, this is not a really common game to come across, so I'm really happy I've got for 3 bucks. $3.99. Next is uh, Blazing Angels, for the Xbox Original. I already have this game on the Wii, but... Uh, I prefer to play it on the Xbox, to be honest, so this is pretty cool. And last but not least, I got Top Spin 3 for the 360. I really like tennis games. Ah! This is a bit of a simulation slash arcade -y kind of thing. Tennis games are fun to play, just like golf. And that about wraps that up. Pretty good little haul. And back to the show. And I'm just back from my lunch break. Go to check out some more toys. Got the Veritech fighter from Robotech, and Strap from Gremlins, and Stormtrooper, these dudes were everywhere. Guinan from Next Generation, probably Whoopi Goldberg's best part by far. <laughs> Gobots, the poor man's Transformers. And this really good condition Game Boy. Tons of games in there too. Got a G.I. Joe board game. Never seen that before. And also this Transformers electric racing set. Pretty sweet. And what have we got? Muhammad Ali vs Superman, Giant Size, original, love it, so cool. Canadian Comics, I sold some comics to these guys recently, they gave me a really good deal. You should check them out. Lots of good titles, probably a bunch of man in there somewhere. <laughs> Burt Reynolds, Heat! Good movie. Found this other great Chuck Bronson collection, Telephon and St. Ives. I've never seen Telephon before. St. Ives is pretty good though. More Robotech. Transformers the movie on VHS. Damn, I should have got that. What was I thinking? Robotech on VHS as well. The whole Macross saga. Nice. Has a whole bunch of loose figures. Really good prices. Great selection here. Bill and Ted, the cereal. Free cassette tape case. Yeah, what gives the impression this was made in the early 90s? Rancor! Cloud Nine Fighter, it's about to mash it. Another Stormtrooper? Holy cow, it's guys everywhere. That's about it. I decided to also pick up this sealed laser disc for the Terminator. Okay, and that's a wrap at the Pop Culture Collectible Swap Meet. Thanks for joining me for this little fun little excursion. If you want to find out more information about when the next events are, just check their Facebook page and they got all their upcoming events. And thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. If you could like and subscribe, they'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.